Good morning, Central Elementary. Today is Thursday, November 9th, and it is going to be 65 degrees, a high of 65 degrees, so about what it was this morning. There is a chance of rain today. Um, it's not a very, should not have a lot of rain, but there is an 84% chance that we have some rain today at some point. For lunch today, you can expect to have orange chicken, general's chicken, and lo mein. I know that's some of your favorites. All right, here is your daily joke, and it is Thanksgiving themed. Why should you never set the turkey next to the dessert? Well, because he will gobble, gobble it up. <laughs> that turkey. All right, birthdays today. Hallie Joyce is going to be turning 11 years old. Wyatt Lugo is going to be turning 8 years old. Marley Sharetti is going to be turning seven years old. Knox Walker is turning six. And Preston Bailey is turning five years old. Ooh, lots of birthdays today. Happy birthday to all of you. Enjoy your day today and celebrate big. On to our special announcements, our character counts award of the month of citizenship. Um, so we're going to continue to talk about that and what it means to be a good citizen. This next example that I'm going to go over with you is not really something that you would do here at school, um, but something that you can do in our community. So that is community service. And so making sure that you um, are cleaning up the park, you can collect food for the needy or make cards for nursing homes. Um, these are activities that foster a sense of community community and empathy and especially with this time of the year we usually do canned food drives um, I do know that at some point we're going to be at Mike Miller collecting cans so we're super excited about that um, and I believe that um, our student council is going to be the ones that are in charge of that so they're kind of giving back to the community in that sense so community service is a great way to show citizenship and giving back to our community um, don't do not forget that our school-wide positivity goal is 95%. How could you forget? We talked about it a lot, right? Just make sure that you are doing your part. So that is making sure that we are on our best behavior at all times, meeting those expectations that we go over school-wide, and just being your best self all day, every day here at school. Um, and so making sure that we are continuing to get better. So be sure that you are helping us achieve our goal, not hurting us. The Dojo Store items are now available for you to see in the lobby, that trophy case. You'll see the big Dojo, Class Dojo sign, and they got the number of points, how much they cost next to them. And so this is what you can expect to be on the cart. Sometimes things may run out, or there may be new items in the cart that are not in the case yet. But generally, it's a good overview of what you can expect um, to see on the cart when it comes to your class. And so make sure that you have what you want in mind. That way you can quickly get that when the cart comes to your class. Now, on Monday, we watched that Dojo Big Idea video about empathy. And Mojo learned how he can feel trapped in the maze by his own emotions. And so we've had some different conversations this week. And so my next question for you is name a time you've been in the maze. And what emotions did you feel when you were in that maze? 
So I'm going to give you just a moment to think. Hopefully you have your answer now. You're going to talk with the person next to you, and here is your question again. Name a time you've been in the maze. What emotions did you feel? Turn and talk. I hope you and the person next to you had a good short conversation and I hope that you were able to reflect on that and what you felt during that time and hopefully you're able to realize that it is hard when you're in the maze and hopefully next week we learn how to get out of that maze. On to our next thing, our Veterans Day program is going to be tomorrow at 1 o'clock and there's also a showing at 9 o'clock so you can expect some different things. Um, our gym is going to be full of Veterans Day program items. So the gym may not be able to be used for dismissal or arrival time. We'll be sure to let you guys know where to go during that time, but just be prepared if that is the case. In addition to that, when we are having our performance, I want to be sure that you guys are being good citizens and showing respect to those that are performing and we're showing respect to our veterans that dedicated so much of their time to our country so you could have the freedom that you currently have. So we want to make sure that we are being our best self during that time. We are on our voice level zero during the performance. We're not um, fooling with anybody next to us. We're showing respect and making sure that we are paying attention to what is going on. And we're super excited to see all the hard work that has went into this program. It is going to be phenomenal. We cannot wait. All right, on to our expectation reminders. We've been talking about the restroom and what we expect of you while using the restroom. Uh, make, making sure that you are respectful and responsible by giving others privacy, knocking on the door if you're not sure if somebody is in there, flushing that toilet when you're finished. Nobody wants to see your business. Be sure that you flush that, wash your hands, make sure you keep that water in the sink. There happens to be a lot of water on the floor and that can be dangerous for many of us um, as it could be a uh, ha a hazard for slipping so be sure that you're you know getting all that water off in the sink maybe shake your hands we don't need to shake it on the floor use no more than two paper towels so quickly get a paper towel and please be sure that that paper towel gets in the trash can if that trash can's full it's got a lot of paper in it just push it down help us out and if there's ever anything going on in the bathroom that shouldn't be make sure that you let an adult know on to our weekly quote, you should not judge, you should understand. So there are always times that, you know, things get difficult and maybe somebody makes a mistake. And so you need to have the ability to understand and share the feelings of another person um, in the event that something's going hard, uh, going not the way that they want it to go. Um, it's difficult. Maybe they're, they're very sad. So don't judge, just, just be understanding and give your support and give those people what they need. So be, be that helping hand. On to our pledge. So if you would please stand for the pledge. This is a respectful moment, so we're on a voice level zero. Place your right hand over your heart and repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And while you're standing, let's say the school motto. The key to success begins with me. Respectful, responsible, and ready I'll be. Have a great day, boys and girls, and always know that you are loved.